Sometimes, this is your quote. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Sometimes stepping away is exactly what the body needs. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about recovery. Why, why is that what you mean? Why is stepping away exactly what the body needs? Yes. Um, well, I fully stand by, behind my quote. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think from a recovery standpoint, but also mental, emotional standpoint. Um, I, you know, I feel my best when I'm in the mountains. And so any chance I got, I would take two to three days and drive to the mountains and camp or just be with friends um, and spend time away, away from the sport, not thinking about it, not working out. Um, you need that mental reset. It's so you're just you're grinding all the time, 24 seven, and it can be draining. Um, so I just always I always encourage people that I've worked with and young athletes to be okay stepping away. If you need two to three days off, take it. And even my coach this last year, he started giving us Friday, Saturday, Sunday off because he knew that I needed to just be away and go to the mountains sometimes. And maybe just me and my dog have a weekend away. Um, I just, I'm a, I'm a huge advocate for that. Uh, from an all around standpoint, physically too. Yeah, no, I love that. Yeah. I love it. I love it. There's, we, we need a break for our clarity, mm -hmm. right? When people say sometimes slower is faster, that's what they mean. Slow down a little bit. Right. Um, I struggle with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a very urgent person. Yeah. And so I've had to really learn patience, mm -hmm. not to ask somebody the same question five times in the same week when right. I know it's not going to be done yet. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And yeah. So I've really learned to meditate because of that. Okay. My work schedule is very demanding. Mm -hmm. So for me to take that long weekend and have the family is very hard. And so I can't. Um, well, can't is a strong word. I choose not to because yeah. of the value that I place on my family and the business. Yeah. But meditation has been amazing for me. Mm -hmm. It has allowed me to become no one and no place and no time with nothing and just let myself like it's almost like a mental and emotional recovery the same way like stretching or foam rolling or or yoga is the physical form of recovery to me mm. it's meditation and i think what you're saying is you like these elongated secluded isolated forms of meditation that help you get aligned and get recentered so that you can go really yes. show up as your best as your best self yeah absolutely yeah. and that goes along with you know people used to always kind of give me crap about I would still snowboard and I would still ride my motorcycle and they're like you're gonna get hurt and I'm like at the end of the day I don't want to resent volleyball when I'm done because I missed out on living life um and I'm not going out there being stupid you know like I I've been riding motorcycles since I was 13 I've been skiing since I was three so it's like I'm comfortable like yes I know freak accidents can happen but overall um I still needed to live life and enjoy those things yeah I skied for the first time. Yeah. Two years ago. Okay. And I've been twice now. Amazing. Snowboarding's much more difficult. Yes. So I'm not gonna not I'm never gonna say never, but I wanted to get out there and just feel like I had, you know, my feet under yeah. me. Yeah. And not just fall every 10 yards. <laughs> and um I'm still doing the pizza with the skis, but pizza I'm French was, fries. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was and yeah, I really nice. enjoy it. Uh, yeah. I've been looking for a hobby. Yeah. You know, like I've been looking for that escape. It used to be sports for me. Mm -hmm. um, and I tried to play like basketball competitively. And it's just, I'm 36 now, like trying to yeah. keep up with the young dogs, the yeah. 24 year old, you know, X division two players like Tony, our podcast producer over here, yeah. dunk, dunk on me, break my knees. <laughs> <laughs> but I've wanted to pick up something like physical like that. And I, yeah. and I agree, um, you know, there's a, probably a certain level to it, uh, just to push back on that a touch where, you know, uh, you are signed to this professional contract and you are getting paid $5 million a year to right. play. And you've got an entire fan base that's like relying on you to make sure that you deliver. Right. Um, and, you know, I would say that once you get to that level, there's like this contractual obligation, probably Correct. a lot of times that you should sign Correct. to, to, you know, but, uh, you know, you seem like a very free spirit and, you know, hold, you holding back from those things probably puts you in a place that you don't necessarily like to be, yeah. I assume. 
Yeah. And I think doing those things, it instills fear in me. And so I think overcoming the fear on the mountain really pushed me on the volleyball court. Cause it's like, okay, nothing on the volleyball court is, it's not life or death. You know, if you're on the side of a mountain on a motorcycle and you fall, that could be life or death. Um, getting hit in the face of the volleyball sucks and really hurts your pride more than anything, <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like, there's nothing fearful. Like I could step on the court and be like, yeah, I have nerves, but it's not, it's not a fearful adrenaline thing. Free spirit and, a, and an adrenaline junkie wrapped into one. All in one. 